just go to Psalm 27. Hallelujah. Sabay-sabay po nating basahin. One, two, three, go. The Lord is my light and my salvation, so why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress, protecting me from danger, so why should I tremble? When evil people come to devour me, when my enemies and foes attack me, they will stumble and fall. Though a mighty army surrounds me, my heart will not be afraid. Even if I'm attacked, I will remain confident. Amen? Hallelujah. Sino dito hindi pa nakaramdam ng takot? Lahat naman tayo, di ba? So, sabi daw, one of the top uh, kinakatakutan ng mga tao is mag-isa, takot, mag, takot sa failure, takot sa rejection, takot sa uncertainty, yung wala kasiguraduhan, takot na may mangyaring masama, takot masaktan, takot ma-judge, or takot mawala ng pera. Hallelujah. Pero, may malaking pero. Ang sabi ng Lord through David, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Hallelujah. Whom shall I fear? Hallelujah. Kailangan ba nating mamuhay sa takot? Hallelujah. Di ba hindi? Kasi anak tayo ng Panginoon. We, are, we have been redeemed. We are been set free by the Lord through the cross. Hallelujah. And there is nothing to be afraid of. Because the Lord, the God that we are serving right now, is the most powerful God na lagi nating kasama. Na lagi mong kasama. Hallelujah. And God is reminding us right now na wala tayo dapat katakutan kasi sagot ka ni Lord. Pakisabi nga sa katabi mo, sagot ka ni Lord. And we must remain confident in Him. Kung naniniwala ka na si Lord ang bahala sa'yo, we must also be confident. Kaakibat ng pagiging confident sa Kanya is confident tayong mag-praise and worship sa Kanya. Confident tayong kumanta para sa Kanya. Confident tayong itaas yung kamay natin para sa Kanya. Amen? Confident tayong pumalakpak para sa hari ng mga hari. Amen? And ang sabi sa verse 4, The one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek most is to live in the house of the Lord all my days. All the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfections and meditating in His temple. Verse 5, For He will conceal me there. Hallelujah! When troubles come, He will hide me in His sanctuary. He will place me out of reach on a high rock. Hallelujah! That is at our declaration for today. And in verse 6, then I will hold my head high above my enemies who surround me at His sanctuary. I will offer sacrifices with shouts of joy, singing and praising the Lord with music. Amen? And that's what are we going to do today. In verse 7, Hear me as I pray, O Lord. Be merciful and answer me. And in this last verse, My heart has heard you say, Come and talk to me. Talk with me. And my heart respond, Lord, I am coming. Amen? This verse is very 
personal or intimate verse para sa akin. Kasi nagpapakita to na yung, yung Diyos na sinasamba natin is a personal God. Amen? He is a God who can speak to us like a friend, like a father. And even ngayon, na maging aware tayo sa boses niya. The Lord can speak to you right now habang nagwo-worship ka, habang naikinig ka ng word. Hallelujah. Let, we, we shouldn't limit the we should limit we shouldn't limit our Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And he is always willing. Always willing to help us in every way. And in our in the times of need, Amen. And lagi tayong hinihintay ng Panginoon na lumapit sa kanya. And let it let our declaration today na na tumakbo tayo sa arms ng Panginoon into into the arms of our Father at patuloy tayong lumapit sa kanya. He is always ready. Ready to embrace us. Tayo lang ang hinihintay ng Panginoon. Amen. And hayaan mong mag-respond yung puso mo ngayong umaga sa presensya niya, sa boses niya. And let your heart continue to stir your hunger and your thirst for Him. Amen. And right now, I'm inviting everyone to please stand up. Hallelujah. And let us focus on Him right now. Hallelujah. Let's continue to remember every good thing, every goodness na patuloy na, na tayo chinechase. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is here right now in the midst of us. Do the treat gather together he in the midst of them oh halere mesikiara ba 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 oh come speak to your father come speak to your maker come speak to your king right now he is waiting you oh ra ba 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 sikiara ba 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 si yera ba 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 khande yera ba ma 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 handere yera ma ma shay let us be confident Confident to come boldly into His presence. Oh, the Baba Bashiki, the Baba 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 Basi, the la 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 hande. Yeah, the Baba 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 Bas. Yeah, la 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 la. Yeah, the Masi. Let's focus our hearts, focus our mind on Him. Yeah, the Baba 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 Basi.
lift up our hands right now. I want you to tell to tell it to God. With all of your heart, sing. You are the strength of my life. Come on, church. Lift up your voices. sa promises mo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right now, sino dito yung gusto magpuri sa Panginoon? Ready na ba lahat para ibalik ang lahat ng glory para sa Kanya? Hallelujah. Can I hear a shout of praise in this place? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pinakamalakas sa pagsigaw. Hallelujah. One, two, three. Let's praise God. Let's clap our hands. Hallelujah. I will sing. When I think about your goodness, my heart is overcome. How could I begin to thank you for everything you... I'll sing it again when I think about... When I think about your goodness, my heart is overcome. How could I begin to thank you for everything you've done? For loving me, and you cause my heart to sing. You, you make me come alive again. You, you make me come alive again. And oh, this is the 
praise you. I praise you. I praise you. Come your hands. So come on everybody, it's time to celebrate. We will never stop singing and lifting up your name. Cause you keep on loving me and you cause my heart to sing. You, you make me come alive again, that's why we praise you. Come alive again. See you And whoa, whoa, this is the moment. Everything changes. Whoa, whoa, you are my breakthrough. See, I praise you. I praise you. And whoa, whoa, this is the moment. And whoa, whoa, everything changes. And whoa, whoa, you are my breakthrough. I praise you, I praise you. Whoa, whoa, this is the moment. Whoa, whoa, everything changes. Whoa, whoa, you are my breakthrough. I praise you. I praise you. This is the moment. Whoa, whoa. everything changes. Whoa, whoa, you are my breakthrough. I praise you. I praise you. Hey, hallelujah! It's time to celebrate. We see you are good. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, he is good. And his mercies are new every morning. We will continue to praise our King. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's continue to declare. Today is the day you made. I will sing for you. Sing louder. I will be glad of it. Today, promises are true.
Prophesy today. Hallelujah. See it. Bring it back. 
stepping out to become everything you've called me. I believe in your word. And I'll sing it again. I'm stepping out. I'm stepping out to become everything you've called me. Always sing. I believe in your word and your spirit in me. I take up my position. I'll sing in faith. To all my conditions, take the authority you want for me. I 
to worship the Lord. We ask, Lord, O oh God, for hunger and thirst. We, we ask, Lord, for revival in this place, God. We ask for a heart that burns only for you, Lord. Seeking your face, Lord. Dwelling in your presence, God. You 
day you set up your kingdom in Israel but before you set up that kingdom in Israel and establish it is established first in our hearts the kingdom of God is within you and this kingdom is bringing order in our life bringing order in our thoughts bringing order in our family bringing order to the nation and upon your shoulder, there shall be increase of government that all of your enemies, Lord, will be put under your feet. Because you declare it, O oh God, everything compels going under down your feet. And it will happen. And it must happen. Because you're coming, you're king. You're coming as a king, not as a savior, but as a king. 2,000 years ago, you came as a savior. And we declare you Lord of our heart, Lord of our life. 
that you subdue everything that is in us and we submit everything to you everything is yours it's for you we give you praise hallelujah right now i declare your kingdom atmosphere the open heaven the governor of the kingdom the holy spirit is welcome the worship leader of heaven and earth the one who knows the desire of the father and the desire of the son we yield to him we worship you you are worthy of it all You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, O God. For from you are all things. And to you are all things. Yes, you deserve the glory. We worship you, God. You are worthy of it all. Regardless of our situation, you are worthy. Regardless of challenges, you are worthy. Regardless of our need, you are worthy. Regardless what's happening around us, you are worthy. We give you the glory that due to your name. We worship the Lord in the beauty. Glory. Give him the glory now. You are worthy of it all. See a lavra dando cobo me a la worthy God. You are worthy. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Hallelujah. All things. You deserve God. You deserve the glory. The price of day and night, hallelujah. The day and night, night and day. Come on, let that incense come up. Come up to the throne. Let that incense reach the throne. Let that incense of worship coming from our heart reach the throne. Hallelujah. Night and day. We offer to you. Receive our offering. Day and night. Night and day, you are worthy of it all. Oh God, you are worthy of it all. For from you, Lord, for from you are all things. All things you deserve the glory. God, we join the angels. You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. You deserve all Give your hands to his presence. Father, we thank you. We allow the Holy Spirit to flow through us, in us. We drink in the river of your glory, in the river of your presence. We thank you for the spirit of revelation and wisdom flowing through your vessel that you're going to use to us. 
We thank you, Lord, that your Holy Spirit commitment is to bring your church into that place without spot, without blemish, Amen. the Radiant Church. Right now, Father God, break every mindset. Break every works of the devil. Break every blockade of blessing. Break every plans of the enemy. Today, oh Father God, let your word be released and received in the spirit. Because every word coming out of our mouth is addressed in the realm of the spirit and change situation, change life, change mindset so that you, Lord, will continue to be glorified in our life. Maraming salamat. We give you all honor and glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. You may sit down in the presence of God. Welcome everyone in the presence of the Lord. As the Holy Spirit set our hearts to hear the Word of God, always remember that this Word is always addressed. And the purpose of God's Word is to bring life. Bring change, bring correction, bring rebuke, bring alignment, bring restoration. Amen? When God said, man shall not live by bread alone, meaning to say, without God's word, we die. Everybody say, without God's word, we die. Ano ibig sabihin ng mamamatay ka? You die spiritually. Why? You're not eating the word of God. Ang nourishment po natin ay wala nang iba at wala na pong ibang kapangyarihan para pamahalaan ang ating pong buhay at isipan none else but the Word of God. That's the reason why this Word continue to chisel our life and transform our life. Amen? Praise God. Sabihin mo, ang salita ng Diyos ay tanggapin mo sa Espiritu. Praise God. Let's welcome Brother Tony. Hallelujah. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good. Thank you, Pastor Henner. Daddy. My daddy, as well. Okay, uh, hello, glory to God. Isa sa mga desires ko yung makabili nito, pero until now, hindi pa ako nakakabili. Hinabot na ng pandemic, hindi pa rin nakabili. <laughs> Hallelujah. <clears throat> glory. Yung electric fan, wag mo na yan sa akin, baka lipad ka. I have with me my favorite Bible version, the Expositors okay. Study Bible, authored by my favorite American evangelist, Jimmy Swaggart. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Wow. Oh, praise God. I would like to acknowledge or the presence of uh, the Antipolo chapter of Worship the King. And yung pong mga, mga kapatid, na, kapatid natin may mga galing ng Dubai yata, ay uh, Spain, si Sister Wang, nandito po. Palakpakan natin. At sino pa yung mga bagong mga bisita? You're welcome here po. Hallelujah. Oh, greetings in the name of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to read to you, to you from King James Version. Babasahin ko po, hindi wala po akong uh, tawag dito. File. 
This is the old fashioned uh, way of preaching <laughs> with the uh, literal Bible, hindi po cell phone. <laughs> Although from time to time, gagamitin ko rin to. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yung pong Beatitudes. O sa Tagalog, ang Beatitude, uh, do you know? Kapurihan. Mga pag-uugaling. Karapat dapat. Amen. In verse 3, ay dito po nagumpisa yung uh, siyam na kapurihan o beatitudes. I'd like us to recall or uh, remember this. Blessed are the Blessed are the poor in spirit, conscious of moral poverty. Yan po yung nakalagay dito sa expository Bible. Hallelujah. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. The moral characteristics of the citizens of the kingdom of heavens. And so it is apparent that the new birth is an absolute necessity for entrance into the kingdom. John 3.3, 3, yun po ang kingdom na binanggit ng Panginoon nung kausap po niya si Nicodemus. You will not see, you will not enter the kingdom except you are born again. Hello. This kingdom is now, pres is now present spiritually. But not for, but not yet physically, hindi pa po. The physical kingdom is not yet present. Sa kingdom age po yun. The 1,000 years reign of Christ. You see, makikita po natin dito yung, yung, yung implication nito, yung mga connection po dito sa Beatitudes na ito. Kaya ito po gusto kong basahin sa inyo. Verse 4. Blessed are they who mourn. Nagluluksa, nagdadalamhati. Grieve because of personal sinfulness. You are grieving for your sinful nature. Yung mga pagkakamali mo. Makailangang mapatawad. The blessed are they who mourn. Hindi sila nagagalak sa kanilang mga kasalanan. Marami pong taong nagagalak dahil uh, marami siyang asawa. Marami siyang kabit. Ha? Ako, kakatakot po yun. Be, for they shall be comforted. Ano yung comfort na ito? What the Holy Spirit will do for those who properly evaluate their spiritual poverty. Kaya nga, ang tawag sa, isa sa mga pangalan ng Holy Spirit is the comforter. Hallelujah. Our teacher. Our guide. Pang, pangatlo, blessed are the meek, the opposite of the self-righteous. Yung hindi po mayam, hindi po, uh, hindi po poor sa spirit, hindi po poor. Yung mm, uh, masyadong prideful, mayabang. Yun po yung opposite. The first two beatitudes guarantee the meekness. Yun po yung nagagaranti ito pong uh, poor in the spirit and th th those who mourn for their moral uh, sinfulness. Yun po yung garantiya nitong meekness. For they shall inherit the earth. Inheritance of the earth. Di, di ba dapat huwag na tayo mag-isip tungkol sa earth? Hindi po ang ibig po sa men dito speaks of the coming kingdom age. When the kingdom of heaven will be brought down on earth. When the saints will rule with Christ as its supreme Lord. Tayo po, we will reign with Christ during the millennial reign. Hallelujah. Ito po yung ating ingatan na hindi po tayo ma-disqualify. Ma Hallelujah. Kaya po ito yung, itong binigay na message sa akin ngayon. For us, because we are, we are on the last days, the perilous times we are in. Hello. Kaya makinig po kayo. <laughs> Hello. 
Verse 6, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst, intensive desire, after righteousness, God's righteousness imputed by Christ upon faith in the finished work, in his finished work. For they shall be filled. But first, all of us must be truly empty of self-work. Yung mga, yung mga finifil, yung pong mga empty nga. Dito sabi dito ni Jimmy Swaggart, empty of all self-work. You are meek. Huh? You mourn for your moral sinlessness. You are poor of yourself. That's the quality. This is the quality ng mga dapat na nasa kingdom ngayon. Kaya dapat nating marinig. Bihira po nating ma mabasa ito. Hello, are, are, are you always reading this Beatitudes? Yung B, your, what our attitude should be. Yun po yung attitude, simple meaning ng be attitudes. What should our attitudes be? Hello? What else? Verse 8, verse 7. Blessed are the merciful. Merciful shows itself in action which goes beyond the thought. Okay. Hindi lang sa pag-iisip yun, yung magiging merci, uh, merciful. Yung, <coughs> because, pero na-demonstrate po sa ating mga action. Amen? Yung ating mercy. Na-demonstrate ba? <laughs> For they shall obtain mercy. To obtain mercy from God, we must show mercy to others. Hallelujah. Verse 8, Blessed are the pure in heart. Okay? Those who have received a new moral nature in regeneration. Ito po, yung purity of the heart. Kakantahin muna yun ngayon. Lagi natin kinakanta na A pure heart, that's what I long for. A heart that follows hard after thee. Hello. <laughs> Purity of heart. Verse 9. Blessed are the peacemakers pertains to peace with God, which comes with salvation, and all who proclaim such are called peacemakers. So we are actually should be peacemakers. In essence, we are to be peacemakers as citizens of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Kaya dapat laging walang alitan, walang awayan, walang tampuhan, <laughs> walang chismisan. <laughs> Hallelujah. For theirs, ito, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, having God's righteousness, which is solely in Christ, such have the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Ah, lumampas ako, peacemakers yun. Ex For they shall be called the children of God. Continuation. Lumampas ako, na-skip ko yung ano, itong passage nito. For they shall co be called the children of God. Expresses the peacemaker and the one who have received the peace. Verse 10, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake. Means that those who, op who operate from the realm of self-righteousness will persecute those who trust in God's righteousness. Kaya sa pamilya, nagiging kaaway mo yung mga hindi pa born again na mga magulang mo o mga anak mo nagiging kaaway mo. Dahil sila may self-righteous. Eh ko na nandito na yung self-righteousness mo, mapepersecute ka. Yun ang magiging kaaway mo. They hate you. Verse 10, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you, the last 
Number nine ito, beatitude. Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manners of evil against you falsely for my sake. For God's sake, pwede po tayong ma-insulto. Huh? But you are blessed, ma-persecute. Only Christ could say, for my sake, for he is God. There is an offense to the cross. Galatians 5.11 Yun po yung offense ng cross. Kaya sa, sa Philippians chapter 3, mayroon doon mga pinag-aro, pinag-iingat po tayo, pinag-iingat po ni Pablo, Apostol Pablo, yung mga Philippian believers against the dogs, beware of dogs. So, biblical po yung nakasulat sa mga gates, beware of dogs. Ano ito? The enemies of the cross of Christ. Enemies of, hindi po enemies of Christ, enemies of the cross of Christ. Rejoice, verse 12. Okay. Ngayon, wala po dito yung babanggitin kong isang beatitude na pangsampo. Hallelujah. Sa verse, uh, chapter 11 po ng the same chapter ng book, Matthew 11, Matthew 11, Six. Ito po yung huling be attitude na siya po ang aking ipapa ituturo, isi-share po sa inyo. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Matthew 11 6 Ito, yung pang sampo na hindi kasama doon. <laughs> So, atawag ko nga dito, postscript beatitude. Parang pahabol. <laughs> Blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. Yung mga hindi po na-offend o nasasaktan kay sa Panginoong Yesus. Kanino in-address ito? Doon po sa isang great prophet, si John the Baptist. Dahil nagpadala si John the Baptist ng kanyang mga disciples para tanungin kung uh, ikaw ba talaga yung hinihintay namin? Ikaw ba talaga yung Messiah? Or shall we wait for another? <laughs> Pero sabi ni Lord, sabi niya rito, Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and and." Show John again those things which you do hear and see. The blind receive their sight. And the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed. And the deaf hear. The dead are raised up. And the poor have the gospel preached to them. Hallelujah. Si Jesus pala yung first preacher of the gospel. <laughs> so, yun niya. And then, ito. Yung huli, pahabol na message sa, sa mga disciples niya para kay John. And bless, blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended of me. Mapalad daw yung mga hindi na offend sa Panginoong Yesus. Offend. To be offended ay yung bang masaktan tayo. Maginanakit, masaktan yung damdamin natin. Na ang mga consequences po ng nasasaktan ay mawawala ng gana. Uh, in the case of John the Baptist, nagdududa na po siya. He was doubting. At al kilalang kilala ni Lord si John the Baptist. Dahil siya yung magiging forerunner. He was pick, uh, chosen by God to be the for his forerunner. And in fact, doon po sa Luke 1.15, anong sinabi tungkol kay John the Baptist? He was already filled in the with the Spirit 
while he was in, my, in his mother's womb. Nasa sinapupunan pa lang. Filled, he was being filled na, filled of the Holy Spirit. Diyan po si John the Baptist. At siya po, wala na pong higit pa sa kanya. Uh, sa verse, sabi, uh, 11, Verily I say unto you, among them who were born of women, there has not risen a greater John, greater than John the Baptist. Wala na pong hihigit kay John the Baptist sa mga propeta. Hallelujah. Yan yung, yun yung alam na alam ni Lord about John the Baptist because siya yung tumawag. Pero mayroon pong paabol dito sa verse 11. Notwithstanding, he who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. He speaks of the new covenant dahil kasama tayo sa better things. Ha? Yung old covenant, kasama doon siya, kasama si, si John the Baptist. Kaya, uh, you, you, uh, the least in the kingdom is even greater than him because of the new covenant na dahil sa finished work of Christ. Yung po yung kahalagahan nitong new covenant, itong Itong uh, gospel ngayon ay pinapangaral. Ito pong nang, gin, tinanggap natin katotohanan, pananampalataya. Ito po yung pinakahigit na lahat. Ito yung dapat marinig ngayon ng lahat ng tao. To make him or her better than even John the Baptist. Ha? Do you believe that? Hallelujah. That's the new covenant. Kasama po tayo ron. Bagong tipan. We have a... Uh, we, we are... Priest, ourselves, we can go to the throne of grace with confidence. Dahil we have the mediator. He's seated at the right hand of God now. Our Jesus Christ himself being the high priest in the order of Melchizedek. Binanggit ni Pastor Henerian sa kanyang turo the past days. Kaya we are priests. Hindi natin kailangan yung mga pare dito. Nagnaga yung mga pinagkoconfessan ng mga Catholics. Maling-mali po yun. Unbiblical. That a, that, that's a false religion. Kukonfess ka sa isang tao, mga kasalanan din. You confess our sins to God only. First John 1.9 yeah. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. This is the new covenant. Hindi yung sa, sa old covenant, every year lang yun. Once a year nangyayari yun. Kailangan pa yung priest ay eh, qualified. Dahil kung hindi sa qualified na pumunta sa Holy of Holies, patay siya. Kaya may tali yung kanyang pa. Dahil eh, hindi pwedeng kunin siya ng ibang tao. Mamatay din yung nga papasok sa Holy of Holies. Pero the veil has been whoosh, napunit na when the Lord said it is finished, when the Lord dried. Hallelujah. We have access We have confidence. Hallelujah. That's the new covenant, mga kapatid. Okay. So, hallelujah. I will just give, I will just give three points dito po sa about this, the offended, the offense. The first point I would like to make is this. The Lord, our, Je our Lord Jesus Christ, who is all-loving, all-knowing, and all-wise, is sovereign. He's sovereign. Ibig sabihin ng sovereign, he, at siya yung pinakadakila, higit sa lahat. He is sovereign in all his dealings with his people. Okay? Yun ang, dap, yun ang isang katotohanan. The first great truth implied in this promise of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alam ni, ng Panginoong Jesus yung si John the Baptist, as I told you, kasasabi ko lang kanina, kilala niya siya dahil siya yung nasa, sinapupunan pa lang siya, ay, he, he was already filled, he was already anointed for that uh, purpose. 
of being the forerunner of Jesus Christ. Kumbaga, sinasabi ni Lord sa kanya sarili, oo, naka, nakakulong ka at nagdududa, nagdududa na, pero okay lang. Alam ko ang ginagawa ko, kontrolado ko ang lahat ng sitwasyon at ang kalooban ko ang pinakamabuti para sa iyo. Yun po yung kanyang pagka, ang sinasabi sa sarili ng Panginoong Isus kay John the Baptist. Nakakulong si John the Baptist. At uh, bakit hindi ako hinahayaang makalaya? Ayun, nagdududa na ngayon si John the Baptist. Dapat nakalaya na ako. Pero mas mabuti, mas mabuti yung purpose ni, ng Lord kay John the Baptist. Dahil tapos na yung kanyang purpose, tapos na yung ministry. Ano pa ang kailangan? Kailangan na siya ng reward. Kaya, kaya sabi ni Lord, it is better to be present with the Lord and absent in the body but present with the Lord. The Lord knew the, a better thing for John the Baptist. Eh, yung ulo niya, pinugutan siya, dinagay sa plato, at uh, dinala doon sa asawa ni Herod. Okay. Now, consider this. Kung ito ay totoo sa isang pinakamagaling sa lahat na propeta, how blessedly true is this to us. Totoo rin po ito. Kaya nga, whosoever, sabi doon eh, blessed is he, whosoever is, shall not be offended of me. Kasama ka, kasama ako. Dahil sa panahon natin ngayon, madali na po tayong ma-offend. Marami na po, uh, na-offend tayo sa ating mga leaders na open, pak, pati sa asawa na open tayo eh. Ay mga mag-asawa, nagkakaroon ng alitan yan, nag, hindi nagkakasundo yan eh. Nagkakasamaan ang loob. Ha? Ah, sana huwag mangyari yun sa mga bagong kasal. <laughs> ah, dahil kung lagi kayo nagkakasamaan ang loob, nagkakaaway kayo, sigurado dadami anak nyo. <laughs> Alam ko si Brother Hener saka si Sister A, hindi yan nag-aaway, kukunti lang anak eh. <laughs> Tatatlo. Ako, anim naging anak ko eh. <laughs> ha? Kaya yung, yung offense, pagtatampuhan, nagkakasakitan ng loob, nagkakasamaan ng loob, wag na wang mangyari sa atin. Dahil, ha? In fact, yung mga, mga kasamahan natin, na, namimiss ko na sila, yung marami na yung mga Namimiss kong mga dati natin kasamahan dito na umalis dahil nasa, nakasa, nasaktan. Nasaktan ng leadership o kanino man, sino man dito. O may, mas may nakita silang mas maganda o kaya uh, na, na, they are offended already na lagi na lang silang kinakapos sa kahirapan at uh, siguro naghanap sila ng ibang church na nagpre-preach ng yung prosperity. <laughs> yung mga yun, nada, yung mga nadadaya ng mga yung prosperity gospel dahil hindi na nila kaya, hindi, uh, hindi na nila matiis yung mga kahirapan, mga difficult inconveniences dahil sa kakulangan ng pera. Gusto nila ng maraming pera. Kaya sila natatangay ng mga yung false uh, gospel ng prosperity na tawag. Maraming nandadaya ngayon. Ha? False teachers. Sinabi po dito, alam natin yan. You are aware of that. Huh? We are all aware of the false teachings. Na kasama din si Kristo ron, pero hindi po yung uh, this another Christ yun, another gospel, another spirit that uh, the Apostle Paul is warning us about sa 2 Corinthians chapter 13 ba yun? Hallelujah. All right. We may not be in a literal, literal prison cell like Jen had. But maraming uri ng bilangguan na kinalalagyan ng maraming mamamayan sa kaharian ng Diyos ngayon. Sisiyang banggitin natin yung ibang bilangguan para maging aware kayo kung, na, kung saan bilangguan kayo ngayon <laughs> o noon. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Nariyan yung bilangguan ng pagdadalamhati sa kapagkawala ng isang mahal sa buhay. 
na hindi hindi ka na tumigil sa pagluluksa dahil nawalan ka ng isang mahal na mahal sa buhay. Bilangguan din yun. Ha, lalo? Na, nadidiscourage ka na, ayaw mo nang umatin ng church. Nariyan ang bilangguan ng pag-aalala dahil sa kawalan ng pera. Anxiety. Bilangguan pala yung anxiety. Pag-aalala. Kaya sabi sa John chapter uh, Philippians chapter 4, do not worry about do not be anxious about anything. Bilangguan po yung anxiety. Ha? Huh? But in everything with prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God para makalaya ka sa bilangguan na yun. And the peace of God which transcends all understanding shall guard gorgado ang puso mo. Because of the peace of God that, he, that the Lord will give you. Nariyan ang bilangguan. Nang standard of this world. Ibang gusto mong nasa yung standard of this world. Bilanggo ng mundo. Ha? Worldliness, isang bilangguan po yan. Ah, yung nagkukulang ka sa devotion dahil marami kang binibigay na time para po sa mga standard, mga, gina, mga kamunduhan, mga teleserye, ah, mga awitin sa mundo, worldly songs, video okay. Minsan nabibilanggo ko doon. <laughs> <laughs> dahil nung maliit pa ako gustong gusto ko nang kantahin yung mga kinakanta nila Paul Angka Elvis Presley at the age of 9, 8, 10 hanggang sa naging teenager ako dumating sila Matt Munro ha? Frank Sinatra ay yung mga kanta nila kabisadong kabisado ko pa rin hanggang ngayon ha? paborito ko ngayon you're closer to me than the shore is to the waves of the sea <laughs> Then a leaf is to a bow of a tree. <laughs> oh, my love. No one else can be closer to me. Kita mo? No one else can be closer to me. So, ibig sabihin nun, sa mano, even the Lord is not, is not uh, closer than, than my, my, yung minamahal ko. So, yun, bilanggo. Bilanggo. Nabibilanggo tayo dun. Worldliness. Mga bisyo. Mga, ha, mga pasyalan dito, pasyalan doon. Parties. Maraming bilanggo dyan. Im, imbitahan mo sa church, uh, prayer meeting. Nantok ako eh. Sa mampakiramdam ko eh. Pero pag sa party, inimbita, <laughs> bihis ka agad, ang bilis, kahit may dinaramdam. E di ba? E, mga bilangguan po yun. Gusto natin malaman, ma, ma, dapat alamin natin po. Maging aware tayo sa mga bilangguang ito. Ang dami. Yung sa uh, cellphone. Ha? Nakakalimutan yung Bible. Pero pag yung cellphone ang nakalimutan, binabalikan. <laughs> ha? Bilanggu ka. Ang dami. Eh kung si Pastor Henry magsasalita dito, ang dami niyang babanggitin niya. <laughs> Galing niyo. <yun. laughs> bilib na bilib ako sa ating uh, tadi. <laughs> uh, Thank you, Lord. Ayun, meron ding bilangguan ng pagkabigo, karamdaman. Yung sakit. Na maraming mga na-offend dahil hindi sila gumagaling. Si pastor, naranasan niyan. At least hindi siya na-offend. Nagpatuloy pa siya. Bili mo yung si Karis, negative na. Miracle. Kaya tawag ko dyan kay Karis, miracle girl. Ngayon, si Sister A, nanay niya, naging miracle girl na rin. Pina, pinagaling ni Lord dahil sa panalangin natin. Hallelujah. Palapakan natin si Lord sa buhay ng mga Bermudes. Yung meron din akong alak na may sakit pa rin. Meron siyang genetic case, ankylosing spondylitis. 
yung pelvic bone niya at saka yung leg bone niya, they tend to fix together to become one bone. Ang suggestion ng uh, orthopedic physician na yun na putuli nito palitan ng bakal. Maganda raw ako ng kunti lang, 350,000. <laughs> so we tried other options, pero no, hindi naman siya gumaling pa. So we, we are we are praying that the Lord will provide that amount so that we can have him operated. Hallelujah. Pero hindi pa ako offended. Ha? Hindi ako offended. I will never be offended because I know. Hallelujah. Sabi nga, the Lord is my strength in my life. Kinanta natin kanina. I'm na, uh, it doesn't matter what what the way that may come on my way. It doesn't matter whatever may come on my way because the Lord is my strength in my life. Yun, 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 yun ang uh, justify yung pong patunay na yung message po natin ngayon ay dapat lang may, may, may bahagi sa atin. Hallelujah. Nasa first point pa lang tayo. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ito ang tanong. Bakit hinahayaan ni Lord ito sa atin? Yung hindi tayo, hindi, tag, hindi kaagad sinasagot yung ating desire, yung ating mga panalangin. Ni, he is giving us time na maranasan ito para matuto tayo trials and, per, and uh, adversities. Yung sabi ni James, consider it pure joy, brethren, when, whenever you, whenever these trials and, per, and uh, troubles come your way. For the testing of your faith worketh perseverance. Di ba? Ito po yung purpose. Matuto po tayo. Because, ito, first po, the first reason is this, because he is working in accordance with his own plan outlined in Romans 8.28. Kabisado niya ba yung Romans 8.28? Hallelujah. Romans 8.28. Yan. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are the called according to His purpose. All things work together for good. Kaya sabi ni Lord, in everything, give thanks. Kaya nga sa Philippians 4, 6, 7, sinabi rin yun eh. Do not be anxious about anything. Huwag kang mag-alala kung may sakit ka. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known unto God. Hallelujah. Pangalawang reason. He is perfecting that which concerns you. Piniperfecto niya. Psalms 138.8. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Hallelujah. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. See, ito po yung purpose. He is perfecting you. He, uh, so that we may attain, attaining to the full measure of the fullness of Christ. And then, kapag ka nangyari po yan, we can say with Paul, it is no longer I that live, but Christ liveth in me. And the life that I now live in the flesh, in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Galatians 2:20. Ah, hallelujah! That's the that's the measure that the Apostle Paul attained. It is no longer I that lives. Yet in Romans chapter seven, sabi niya, sa bandang uli ng chapter seven. Wretched man that I am, who can deliver me from this body of sin? Ang sagot doon ng Panginoong Yesu Cristo. Hallelujah. Pangatlong reason why the Lord allows this. He is doing something wonderful. Kahanga-hanga daw. John 13, 6, 7, and 8. 
He is doing something wonderful. Ano yung wonderful thing na yun na ginagawa ni Lord? And then he cometh he to Simon, Peter, and Peter said unto him, yung nag, uh, naghugas ng mga paa ng mga, ng mga disciples with the towel. Lord, dost thou wash my feet? Verse, next verse. Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not now. Hindi mo pa alam kung ano yung gagawin ko ngayon. But you will know after this. Nalaman niya na yun nung siya mabaptize in the Holy Spirit do sa upper room with the, one, with the 120 believers. Verse 8. Peter said to him, You shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, I, If I do not wash you, you do not, you have no part with me. So, God is washing our feet. It's, this speaks about the sanctification work of the Holy Spirit that is now happening to us, to the body of Christ, for us to continue on as children of God. Kaya kung hindi ka magpapalinis sa Banala Espiritu, you are not part, you have no part with me. Only those who are, who are sons of God through Jesus Christ ang nagpap ang nililinis ng banal na espiritu they are sanctified the present tense salvation niya tawag ito those who are being saved for those who are being saved it is the power of God to those who are perishing it is foolishness the gospel the gospel is foolishness to those who are be who are perishing but to those who are being saved who are being sanctified, they are, it is the power of God. Cleanse. Kaya nga sa 1 John chapter 1, nabanggit ko kanina, if we confess our sins, He is faithful to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Cleansing. Everybody say cleansing. That's a wonderful work of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, sino, sino yung mga Bible characters na dumanas ng mga pagsubok na ito na sa tindi ng kanilang karanasan ng mga pagsubok ay hindi sila bumigay? Ang unang-una kung gustong ibanggitin ay si Job. The book of Job is the first book of the Bible. Sabi ng mga scholars, written by Moses. Si Job, may alam natin, alam natin ang nangyari kay Job, di ba? Anong mga troubles na kanyang dinanas na matay ang kanyang buong pamilya, mga kanya mga kanyang alagang hayop. Dahil kay Satanas inalaw ni Lord na sinasaktan ni Satanas si Job para patunayan na kaya lang kaya lang uh, nananampalataya ay nagiging uh, lumalakad ng Tamang paglakad si Job ay dahil sa mga blessings na, itin, na binibigay sa kanya ni Lord. Alam na natin ang istorya. Pero, Job maintained his faith. Hindi siya na-offend dahil sa pananampalatayang ibinigay ni Lord sa kanya. And, and he declared that doon po sa Job 19.25. Job 19.25 Ito 
he didn't know. Job did not know about the details of who the Messiah will be, who the Redeemer will be. Wala siyang alam tungkol sa magiging pangalan o yung mangyayari sa kanya. Although he demonstrated already yung gagawin ng Panginoong Isokristo when he opened when he offered burnt offerings when he made burnt offerings for his children na nagsasaya sa pagka mayroong mga birthday at baka may mga ginawa silang kasalanan against the Lord si, si Job ay nag-offer nag nananalangin at nag-offer ng burnt offerings so doon pa lang makikita na natin yung ong shedding of blood when you even you when you give an burnt offering mayroong dugo na dadanak that was the key to his faith my redeemer lives i know that my redeemer lives and he shall stand at last on at last on the earth at doon po sa bandang uli ng books of job book of job ay the lord appeared to John uh, to Job. Hello. Nagpakita, nagkausap sila. Ah. Ngayon, do sa pag-uusap nila, may pinagawa para sa kapatawaran din ng kany yung kanyang mga friends, yung kanyang mga mga friends na that, that Bike, na naging mga accuser niya, yung mga friends niya si uh, Elipas naging mga kaaway but they were referred to as friends pero sila pala ay mga kaaway, si Elipas, si Bildad at saka si, si Sofar ang haba po ng mga argumentation po nila sa book of Job kaya ang haba po ng Job Marami pong mga paliwanagan, gantihan, contentions. Marami pong mga contentions. Si Job, yung kay Job, okay yon Dahil he, uh, he has a redeemer. Alam niya, mayroon siyang pananampalataya. Ito pong mga kaibigan ni, ni Job ay mga, may mga pilosopiya ito. May mga karunungan na against the word of God. Basahin niyo yung pong kay Elipas, mayroon pong mga sinasabi siya tungkol sa e experience. Yung isa, is about the tradition. Si Bildad, he was explaining, he was contending with Paul about na ang pangangailangan ng ng uh, Tradition, yung pag-aalala sa tradition. Yung kay Elipas, tungkol sa karanasan. Dapat may karanasan ka. Kaya po, hindi lahat ng mga magaganda sinasabi po nila Elipas ay is, is biblical or is godly. Yun lamang pong mga sinabi ni Paul, ni, ni Job, ang katanggap-tanggap sa Panginoon. At ito po yung nasabi ni Lord sa sa bandang uling ba, uh, chapters ng Job. Napakahaba po. It will take time for us to look on that. Kaya po, just, uh, sinasummarize ko na lamang po ito. Kaya, he was asked to offer, may, may instructions Job sa tatlong ito para po sila ay mapatawad. And then, lastly, about Job. Dito po, ipinaliwana dahil wala hindi alam ni ni Job the, the Lord knew that Job knew nothing about what happened to him. the reasons why Job experienced all those calamities kaya niya dinescribe si Satanas as a leviathan a, a fish giant fish naging controversial po itong passes na ito dahil maraming hindi naintindihan kung ano itong mga description nito. It is the description of Satan himself. The Leviathan sa chapter uh, 40. Okay? 
So dapat basahin din natin po ito para alam natin kung ano yung mga taktika ni, ni Satanas dahil ito yung kaaway natin, kaaway po ng ating kaluluwa. Ha? The first book of the Bible, nairoon na pong description si Satanas dahil siya po yung cause ng mga kahirapang dinanas ni Job. Kaya kung mayroon po tayong mga karanasan, uh, alalahanin natin na ang kaaway po ang ka- Awan ng ating kaluluwa ay walang iba kundi si Satanas. He is roaming around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Yung weapon of, weapons of our warfare. But against principalities. Against the rulers. For the weapons that we fight with are not carnal, 2 Corinthians, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down every imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Okay? Remember, po, yung, hindi po carnal, spiritual weapon po ito. Casting down, to cast down every imagination, mga kaisipan. Marami po tayong mga kakilala, kaibigan na may mga kaisipan, ha? imagination, ha? mga kaisipan, that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. And bringing into captivity every thought, mga kaisipan din yon, every thought, to the obedience of Christ. Yun po yung purpose ng weapon natin, na spiritual weapon, hindi carnal. Hindi po sapakan. <laughs> Hindi po sampalan. <laughs> Meron pang laki, panapaparod natin sa Facebook kayo, sampalan. No? Lagi, ha? <laughs> Nakakatawa eh. <laughs> mm. Pero yun, yung mga nangyayari yun, uh, sa, no, nakikita natin sa Facebook, nangyayari rin sa mga church, sa, sa church, nagkakaroon po ng away. Ha? Pero meron pong mamaya po uh, sabihin ko yung paano po ang, ang po, how should we deal with this. Amen. Next. Point two. Offenses are expressed mostly in questions. Okay? Here in John's case, the question was, are you the expected one or do we look for someone else? Anong dala ng tanong na ito? Doubt, pagdududa, unbelief, fear, confusion, worry, disappointment, at marami pang iba. Yung mga tanong na ito. Verse 22. Luke 7, 22. What's the answer? Yun po yung tinanong. Yun po yung sagot do sa tanong ni, ni, ni John the Baptist. The blind see. Tell John what things you have seen and heard. How the blind see. The lame walk. The lepers are cleansed. The deaf hear. The dead are raised. The poor, the, to, the, to the poor, the gospel is preached. Ito po yung sagot doon po sa pagdududa. And this is, is the same answer para po sa bawat isa sa atin na yung kapangyarihan po ng Panginoon ay patuloy na nangyayari sa atin. Yung inaawit po natin ay mga ebidensya o mga testimony po natin na 
that strength of the Lord is in our lives. Para po hindi tayo magduda, hindi tayo mag, mag fall away, hindi tayo mag stumble. We will remain in the faith. This is the way of checking whether we are in the faith. Check yourselves whether you are in the faith. It's all the matter of maintaining or remaining in the faith. Endurance. Ito po yung labanan. But praise God, we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Ano pa yung mga tanong? Sa Mark 8, Mark 4, 38, yung pong mga nasa bangkano, nasa boat na kasama ni Jesus, dumating ang bagyo. Mark 4, 38, at dumating ang bagyo, si, si Jesus was sleeping. But he was in the stern, asleep on a pillow, and they awoke him and said to, to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? O, tanong po yan. Hindi nila alam na kasama nila si Lord. Kasama nila si Lord, pero hindi nila kilala siya. Hindi nila... Wala pang revelation sa kanila kung sino ang Panginoon. Kung sino si Jesus. Kaya noong patigilin niya, na, na amaze sila, sino itong taong ito na pati ang wind ay sumusunod? Hallelujah. So maraming storms din na dumarating sa ating buhay at naitatanong din na to, Lord, do you care that we are perishing? Di ba? Nagtatanong tayo, bakit ganito hindi na... Ganito ang nararanasan namin lagi, Lord. May karamdaman. Lumalayas ang mga anak. Mga apo. Nagbabackslide. Why, why, bakit nangyayari ito, Lord? Ha? Magtanong. Pwede tayo magtanong, pero dapat mayroon tayong magandang sagot. Mayro, kung mayroon kang mag, matanong, magandang tanong sa Panginoon, mayroon, mas lalo siyang mayroong magandang kasugunan sa iyo. Bago, mo pala, bago pa nga itanong yan, alam na niya eh. Bago ka pa tayo manalangin, alam niya na yung ating ngahihingin. So, ganyang ka, katindi, ganyang ka, kamangha-mangha ang Panginoon. Lagi natin kinakanta yan, kamangha-mangha o Diyos, kapangyarihan mong taglay. Walang makakalupig kung walang, walang papantay. Sa ngalan mo, O Diyos, ako'y magsasaysay. So, ito yung ating testimony. This is our testimony. Walang hanggang papuri ang aking alay. So, yun pa lang, dun pa lang po sa mga awitin. Praise songs, worship songs. Nandun na yung sovereignty ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo. Kaya anumang katanungan meron po tayo sa ating mga sitwasyon, meron pong katugunan. Hallelujah. Sa mga umiibig. Kaya nga sa uh, Romans 8.28, yun po yung condition. To those who love God. Gano mo kamahal si Lord? Gano ka ah uh, Gaano mo na, paano mo na pagtatagumpayan ang mga challenges na ito sa buhay? Kaya nga ito, ito yung warfare of the saints because ang tunay na umiibig sa Diyos ay yung you would deny himself. Luke 9.23 If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself. Self-denial. Yan po yung challenge na hindi magawa ng iba. Mamatay sa sarili. The key to the kingdom is to die first. Hallelujah. Thank God.
the third point, the last time, the last uh, one ito. There is a special blessing promised to God to the Lord's people if in time of trial and resting they are unoffended. A. The blessing of a quiet heart. Basahin po natin yung Job 22:21. The blessing of a quiet heart. Tahimik na puso. Hindi po, ay ibig sabihin, pag tahimik ang puso mo, hindi ka, la, hindi ka madaling masaktan. O, tingnan natin. Acquaint now thyself with him and be at peace. Thereby, good shall come unto thee. Job 22.21 Acquaint, mayroon acquaintance with him. Intimacy with him. And be at peace. Thereby, good will come to you. Hallelujah. Submit to God, sa ibang version, NLT, submit to God and you will have peace. May submission. Mag-submit ka. Yung mga nanay, mag-submit sa asawang lala. Yung mga tatay, Mahalin mo yung asawa mo. Yun yung nagkakaroon po ng ah, tawag dito. Pagtatampuhan dahil una-una yun yung po sa in my experience ano yung po ayaw ng orang submission. Kaya yung mga bagong kasal, mga babaeng bagong kasal, mag-submit kayo. Mat yung lalaki, hello. <laughs> Mahalin niyo. Kaya ako naging don dahil mahal ko yung aking asawa. I-drive mo ako don. <laughs> oh, kaya don Antonio. Kahit na bawal na sa akin mag-drive, sabi ng cardiologist ko, iwasan niyo na mag-drive. Pinag-drive pa rin ako dahil mamamalengke. <laughs> Pag hindi ako nag-drive, wala kaming ulam. <laughs> Hallelujah. Submit to God. Everybody say, Submit. Submit. Hallelujah. Pagka hindi mo mahal si Lord, hindi ka magsasubmit. Kaya ka nagsasabi dahil you love the Lord. You fear the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Yung matalino ka kapag ka ikaw ay nagsasubmit sa, sa Diyos. At yung mga asawang babae, Nagsasubmit lang yan sa, sa kanilang asawang lalaki pagka they are submitted to God. Yun po yung key. Ngayon, kung hindi, hindi uh, ayaw uh, yung bang maglalaan ng maraming pan devotion sa mga bagay sa mundo, ay huwag mong asahan ng asang asawa na magsasubmit sa iyo. Sa Diyos. Hello? May natutunan po ba tayo? Kahit ganito lang ka, kapur yung aking pang pangangaral eh, at least uh, na nababanggit ko yung mga key verses na dapat nating marinig. Dapat ko ring marinig. Hallelujah. Ano pang blessing? The blessing, uh, mayroon pa akong gustong basahin, Isaiah 26.3. Isaiah 26.3, please. You will keep you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Ayun. You will keep him in perfect peace. Isaiah 26:3. Yan ang isang great prophet na hindi na offend na he ended up na nilagari. Kasi ay, galit na galit si Satanas sa kanya dahil itong prophet na ito, siya yung nag-prophesy nung crucifixion ni Lord. The faith, the crucified Christ. Isaiah chapter 4, 53. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out, out of dry ground, Israel. He is despised and rejected of man. 
and acquainted with grief. Oh. He is despised. Hallelujah. Surely he hath borne our grief and carried our sorrows. Sabi ni Isaiah. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Yun po yung prophecy ni Isaiah, galit na galit si Satanas. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement that brought about our peace, our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. May nandun sa t-shirt natin yan, di ba? So we are talking about peace, perfection. Ito po. Blessings. Hallelujah. Letter B. The blessing of a surrendered will. My blessing po yan. Psalms 31, 15. Surrendered will. My times are in your hand. <laughs> Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from them who persecute me. Ang ganda po yung sinabi, first six words. My times are in your hand. Katulad po nang kinanta natin. My strength of my, is the Lord. The Lord is my strength in my life. It doesn't matter whatever may come on my way. Parang ganun siya sabi nito. My times are in your hand. This is speaking about God's sovereignty. The first point po natin kanina. He is sovereign. Ha? Huh? Verse, uh, chapter 37, Psalms, Psalms 37, 5. Commit, thy, commit your way unto the Lord. O ito, yung word na commit, commitment. Hallelujah. Importante po yan. Yung mga, yung mga, mga church, mga worship the king members na mayroong commitment, yan po yung laging present sa prayer meeting. Committed eh. Ha? Saan kayo committed? O committed? <laughs> commitment. Psalms 37, 37, 5. Commit your way unto the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Kung ano man po yung desire po ninyo, it will bring it to pass. Whatever things that the, God, that the Lord has planned and purpose in your life, it will come to pass. Kailangan lang ng commitment. Hallelujah. The last and not the least. <laughs> Hallelujah. The blessing of a fruitful testimony or a fruitful demonstration. Ito po yung resulta, yung nung pong pagsunod ng ni Sedrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Daniel 3.28 Nagalak yung, yung resulta po na demonstrate yung, as a testimony nung kanilang pananampalataya of their being not offended. Nebuchadnezzar spoke, saying, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel and delivered his servants who trusted in him. And they have prostrated the king's word and yielded, hallelujah, their bodies that they should not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Hallelujah. Hindi ba ganang testimony yan? Ang nag-pronounce nag ng testimony ay yung hari, hari siyang, haring nebukad ni Sar. Yun po yung testimony or demonstration. Next, 29. Therefore, I make a decree that any people, nation, or language which speaks anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces and their houses shall be made an ass heap. Because there, there is no other God who can deliver like this. Last verse, 30. 
Then the, God, then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego in the province of Babylon. Wow! Yun po yung bunga. Resulta po noong hindi pagka-offended. Hinayaan nila sila'y sunugin. Pero wala pong niamoy ng usok, hindi po naamoy sa kanila. Ganyan po kabuti ka, ka, ang Panginoon. And then, verse, last verse, Philippians 1.12. Philippians 1.12. Lastly. But I want you to know, brethren, that the things which actually happened to me have actually turned out for the furtherance of the gospel. Yung pong mga sufferings ni Paul, huh, it turned out to be for the furtherance of the gospel. That was Iyon naman yung tawag kay Paul eh. Sa chap, uh, Acts chapter 9, yung encounter ni Paul kay Lord at uh, inutusan niya si Ananias para puntahan. I have, sinabi ni Lord kay Ananias, I have chosen him as an instrument for the gospel and I will show him how much he will suffer for my sake. Yun po yung calling ni Paul. Ito yung sinabi niya, and yun, gusto raw niyang malaman. Gusto, raw ma gusto niyang malaman ng kanyang mga kapatid, mga kay, mga sa church ng Philippians, that everything that happened to me, to him, helped to spread the good news. Ito po raw yung tutulong sa atin kung tayo po ay ready ring mag-suffer o every suffering that you can contain na naranasin it will, it will be for the furtherance of the gospel. Then sa 29, last. Philippians 1.29 For to you it has been granted on behalf of Christ not only to believe, to poor, not only to believe, but also, to suffer for His sake. Amen. Hallelujah. Hindi lang po tayo nagsisimba, maatin sa simbahan. Pagka, if it will, kung kinakailangan ng inconvenience, uh, may, mayroong inconvenience po, lalo na pag umuulan, wala kang pamasahe, uh, very, very small suffering po yan eh. Pero hindi po natin nagagawa minsan dahil uh, we are prone to convenience. At least, nagpapatuloy tayo kahit hindi aircon, kahit mga squatter tayo. Okay? At least, ha? kahit na pinabaha ito, patuloy pa rin tayo. Okay? Yung ibang, namiss ko yung mga ibang kapatiran natin dahil na-offend Naghanap ng iba. Ngayon, mga leader na sila doon. <laughs> Sabi ni Pastor. <laughs> Ginamit sila ni Lord. So, not only to believe in Him. Huwag lang uh, just go where. Ibig sabihin noon. But, we need suffering. Ito po yung gawain ng Diyos sa ating mga citizens of His kingdom. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Brother Renel. <laughs> Ayan. Click links ni Pastor. Matindi yan. <laughs> Ito. Pwede mo to. Hallelujah. Uy. Praise God. Hindi naman uh, matindi, Brother Tony. No? Konting-konti na lang. So, alam niyo, habang nagre-reflect po tayo sa word ng Panginoon, the very purpose why the word is released to us. Yung word kasi ng Panginoon ang siyang pundasyon ng gobyerno na namamahala at mamamahala at dapat maghari sa ating isipan. Walang opinion ng tao ang pupwedeng magmalaki sa word ni Lord. 
walang excuses ang pupwedeng maghari sa word ni Lord. Every time may tatayo po dito, never assume in your mind na yung word na yon ay para lang sa iyo. Lahat yun para sa atin. Para hindi ka uuwi sa bahay mo na ikaw ay pinapatamaan. Dahil hindi kita pinapatamaan, kailangan tayong mamatay. Dapat matamaan tayo. That's the purpose of preaching. Once the word is released in this platform, it is not released para lamang mag-away. It is released to destroy the stronghold of the enemy in your mind. So if you are in the spirit, nakatulad nung sinasabi nung Panginoon, even John the Baptist, with that situation, nakulong. Pwede mo nakulong ka. Ikaw ang poraner. Ganda-ganda na sinasabi mo sa susunod sa'yo. Hindi ka tinulungan. Ando ka sa kulungan, hanggang sa do, actually pinsan pa niya yun. Di ba? Magpinsan yun. Six months lang ang pagitan nila. So dapat kilalang kilala yun, magpinsan yun. Pero bakit nagawa ni John the Baptist na ma-offend? Kung titignan nyo sa Amplified, yung bakit siya na-offend, bakit sinabi ni Lord na, Blessed is He who is not offended of me. Paki, ano nga yung word na yon sa Amplified? Bakit kaya sinabi yon? Ang ganda ng pagkakasabi, Kahit si Lord pa magsalita, kapag wala ka sa tamang hulog, ma-offend ka talaga. So, ibig sabihin, kahit sino magsalita, basta't katotohanan ang, hindi mo nakita yung katotohanan. Pansinin po nyo, blessed, sabi niya, blessed, happy, fortunate, and to be envied. Kinaiingitan daw. Alin, yung mga tao na hindi na offend at me and find no cause for stumbling in and through me, and it is not hindered from seeing the truth. So kaya ka no-offend, it is because you cannot see the truth. Every time na mag, mag, mag-advise sa iyo ang nanay mo at tatay mo, hindi mo makita ang katotohanan na sinasabi nila, kaya no-offend ka. Kaya meron kang reason na parang di kayo nagdaan sa pagiging bata na yan. Kayo ba nagkaroon ng crush noon? Kaya nga kita ina-advisean, gusto ko ibalik eh. Kasi hindi mo makita yung katotohanan. Nung nag na yung mga magulang mo, he's saying to you, wisdom from your parents so that you will not go under into that suffering. But dahil sa in love na in love ka noon, sa boyfriend mo, you were offended to the truth na hindi mo makita ng tatay mo. That's the reason why. You are offended because you are hindered to see the truth. Pero pagka nakita mo yung truth, you will embrace the truth. You will love the truth. Hello? Mahirap po mag-preach para lang i-please ang tao. We preach the word to please God. We are on the side of God, not on the opinion of men. Yun ang dahilan kung bakit kailangan nating patatagin ang ating sarili. Naalala ko si Jonah. Inuutosan ni Lord na mag-preach sa Ninive. Na-offend. Alam mo, pag na-offend ka, mo sumunod. Saan nagpunta? Kabaliktaran. Pero pinapupunta si Lord sa Ninive, nagpunta sa Jopa. So because of that, Ayaw niyang sumunod. Ayaw niyang mag-submit doon. What happened? Nilunok siya ng isda. Kaya kapag ka meron ko yung mamimit na Jonah, huwag niyong pasakayin sa bangka niyo. Magkukos lang ng storm niya. Sabihin niyo sa kanya, bumalik ka sa calling mo. Bumalik ka sa pathway ng iyong function. So that storm will not come. Alam niyo kung bakit dumating yung storm sa panahon ni Jesus Christ sa mga apostol? May storm na dumating. Sa ibang synoptic gospel, kaya dumating yun because they did not understand what happened to the multiplication of the bread. Bakit dumating yun? Hindi kasi nila naintindihan. 
So pag meron kang hindi naiintindihan, ang isa sa blessing po ay bigyan ka ng illumination. So that when you begin to see yung mga bagay na katotohanan ng Diyos, you will not be offended. Si Jesus Christ na ng panahon niya, marami nang na-offend. How much more tayo na nagdadala ng gospel? Hello? Kanina binanggit ni Brother Tony, bakit inaalaw ng Panginoon yung nangyari kay Job? Why such things happen? Kung tutuusin po ninyo, ang daming reklamo ni Job, di ba kay Lord? Tinanong niya na ng tinanong si Lord, di ba? Sa kwento ng Job, ang dami niyang tinanong. Kasi naghahanap siya ng mali sa kanya. Bakit niya naranasan yun? Alam niyo, bumigay din si Job. Sabi niya, sana hindi ko na nakita liwanag. Sino ba naman hindi bibigay? Meron ka mga kaibigan, ang gaganda ng kanilang mga sinabi, tinorture ka lang nila. Ang sabi ni Lord, kayong tatlo, hindi niyo sinabi yung tama kay Job. Pero, pero ang gaganda naman ng mga sinabi nila, pero hindi raw tama. Natorture lang si Job. So posibleng tama ang, sin tama ang sinasabi mo sa yung, sa yung pananaw, Pero sa mata ng Diyos, hindi tama ang sinabi mo kahit gano'ng kaganda to. And the best way to please God is to really ask God, Lord, ano ba ang sitwasyon? Ano ba ang dapat kong sabihin? It's not enough to speak the word of God out of your intellect. You must learn how to speak the word of God out of His leading. Ang danger po ng matalino, Sa sobrang talino, hindi mo na kinukonsulta si Lord. Kaya nangyayari, para na tayong si Satanas at si Lord gumagamit ng word. Nasusulat, nasusulat din naman, nasusulat, nasusulat din naman. Di ba pa sila, gaaway na tayo, puro nasusulat na lang. So, paano mo ginagamit ang salita ng Diyos? Katulad ba ng pagkagamit ni Jesus o pagkagamit ni Satanas? So yung tatlong yun na nagsalita kay Job, hindi nakatulong kay Job. Nakasama pa. Birin mo yung tatlong yun. Sabi ni Lord sa dulo, hindi ko pakikinggan ang panalangin nyo. Pumunta kayo kay Job. Siya, pakikinggan ko. Doon mo makikita that the prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Na may pinipili si Lord, oh, hindi ko kayo pakikinggan ang prayer nyo kay Job. Si Job, pakikinggan ko. So yung tanong kanina ni Brother Tony, why these things are happening to us? Sabi ng Panginoon sa book of James, kapag ikay dumaranas ng iba't ibang klaseng apoy ng pagsubok, paano man ito nangyari, kanino man ito dumaan, paano pa ito dumating, ang sabi ni Lord, humingi ka ng wisdom. Ano ibig sabihin ng wisdom? Insight doon sa nangyayari sa iyo sa kasalukuyan. Para maintindihan mo, yung purpose, bakit ka nagdadaan? Even kay Jesus Christ nangyari yan. Tignan ninyo doon sa John chapter 12, verse 27. Merong nakalagay doon at ang sabi rito ng John chapter 12, verse 27. Hallelujah. Tama ba yun? Ayan, tama. Sabi niya, Now my soul is deeply troubled. Nung nagkatawang tao ang Panginoon, nakaranas din siya ng trouble sa kanyang soul. Nung nagdadaan na siya dito sa kahirapan at papunta na siya sa, sa cross, ito ang sabi niya, Should I pray, Father, save me from this hour? Anong hour? The hour of agony, the hour of testing, the hour of testing, the hour of trials. Should I say, save me? Pwede ko bang sabihin na iligtas mo ako rito? Dahil merong insight si Lord sa kung ano ang nangyayari sa kanya. Ang sabi niya, no, but this is the very reason why I came in this time of testing and trials. Bakit? Alam niya ang kanyang purpose. Kung titignan mo yan sa Amplified, it answer why the Lord allows such things. Actually, wala pa si Lord na kaprophesy na ang kanyang suffering sa Isaiah 53. If you don't have any insight of what is what is 
not hap- what is happening to you, wala kang insight, hindi mo maa-appreciate, you cannot say, give thanks unto the Lord in all circumstances. You cannot say that. You cannot thank God in all circumstances. But in the midst of testing, you have an insight, you have a wisdom, What? why is these things are happening? It is, you begin to rejoice. Because what you are doing and in the end of that testing is for your own good. All things work together for your own good. At ang sabi roon, why should I say, save me from this hour of trial and agony? Is it save mo ba ako, Lord? Ang sabi, ang sagot doon, hindi. Why? But it was for this very purpose the purpose that I have come into this hour of agony, I come into this picture of crucifixion because I know the purpose of crucifixion. The purpose of crucifixion is the salvation of man. You see, why you are into that testing and process to make you strong, to make you complete, lacking in nothing after the testing of this testing of our first Peter 5, 8, and 10. Ang sabi, after a while, you come out what? Effective. You come out complete. You come out mature. That's the reason why God allows it. Paano ka re-regaluhan ng Panginoon ng overcoming life, hindi ka lumaban? Paano kang lalaban kung wala kang kaaway? That's the reason why the devil still exists today so that you can have a reward of overcoming. But how could you overcome it if you don't want to fight? Paano mo ma-overcome ang isang bagay kung wala kang kalaban? See why the devil still exists today? The Lord used the devil to mold your character. Kanun lang yun. Ano ang pinakadulo nito? Ang pinakadulo nito ay yung sinabi ni Paul, so that all of us one day will be presented to God, a radiant church, a glorious church, a mature church, without spot, without blemish, without wrinkles. So, yun ang tinatrabaho ng Panginoon. So, gusto niyong mawala ang away dito sa church? Gusto niyong mawala ang away sa bawat isa sa pamilya? Matuto po tayong mag-submit. Dahil ang unang kasalanan sa Garden of Eden is si Adan ayaw mag-submit. Sinabi niya, huwag niyong kakanin. Anong ginawa? Kinain. Ano tawag doon? Disobedience in subordination. But God never changed His mind that we will reign in life as a king. Hindi nagbago ang utos ng Panginoon ang Genesis 1.26 that we will rule on earth. Kaya't ang sabi ng Panginoon sa Hebrew ay ito. Ano yung sinabi niya? Sit at my right hand. Okay, sinabi sa Ephesians 5.27. Bakbaligan muna natin yan. He did this to present her to himself a glorious church. That's the end of the story. Dapat pagdating sa dulo, glorious ka. Yung sabi doon, without spot. Ibig sabihin, Pag, pag zinom in ka, may microscope ka, walang makita yung spot na mali. You're pure. O wrinkle. Ano ibig sabihin ng wrinkle? Yung wrinkle, para po yan sa mga matatanda, kulubot ang muka. Paano tumatanda ang isang tao? Tumatanda ang isang tao kapag siya'y patuloy na ine-entertain ang mga pag-aala sa buhay, mga nabubuhay ka sa mali, nabubuhay ka sa dilim, nabubuhay ka sa problem. May problemadong tao, kamukha niya po ay kulubot na ang palaya. Ang kapaitan sa buhay ay nakakakulubot. Nakakatanda ang mag-entertain ng mga pag-aalala. Subukan mo mag-alala. Lagi ka na again. Pagka, pagka, ma, pagka bitter ka naman, mas, mas, mas kulubot yun. Yun ang sabihin ng wrinkle. Or any other blemish. Instead, she will be what? Holy and what? Without fault. Masya parang ang bigat ng standard nito, Brother Tony, yung dulo. Eh lahat, pag tumingin ka, 
sa ngayon, hanapan ng fault, taguan ng record of wrongs. Ah, huwag mo kong i-correct, may fault ka sa akin. Kapag ganyan ang utak mo, hindi yan ang utak na dapat na mangyari. Walang katapusan ang away kasi meron kang pwedeng igatong sa apoy. Kaya si Jesus, sa dulo, He undergo the process. Iniwan ng disipulo, tuloy pa rin. Dininay ni Peter three times, tuloy pa rin. Pinako, hinagupit, dumulo, dugo, tuloy pa rin. Habang papunta siya sa destiny, kung gusto mong papunta ka sa destiny, marating mo ang destiny mo, patahimik ka ng patahimik habang pumapako ka doon. Hindi ka padaldal ng padaldal. Habang pumupunta ka sa destiny mo, paunti ng paunti yung sentences mo. Unti-unting mag-melt ang lahat ng words na pwede mong iganti. Pwedeng iganti ni Lord. Wala naman akong kasalanan. Bakit? Wala naman akong mali. Bakit ako kurnahan ng tinig? Wala naman akong maling ginawa doon sa mga disipulo ko. Bakit ako iniwan? Lahat ng bakit pwede mong itanong kay Lord. Pero si Lord hindi nagtanong. Nag-submit. Para lang maibalik. Alin? Yung original purpose na sinabi ng Panginoon doon sa Genesis. Kaya, nung siya'y namatay na at nabuhay at umupo doon sa right hand of the Father, hindi siya umakyat doon para sa kanyang sarili. Umakyat siya para sa atin. Hindi siya namatay para sa kanyang sarili. Namatay siya para sa atin. Nung siya'y nabubuhay 33 years sa earth, hindi siya nabubuhay para sa kanyang sarili. Nabubuhay siya, nag intercede siya in our behalf para sa atin. Nung siya'y namatay, hindi siya namatay para sa kanyang sarili, para sa atin. Nung siya'y nabuhay na maguli, siya'y nabuhay na maguli para sa atin, para maranasan natin ang resurrection life dito sa lupa. Nung siya'y umakyat sa langit, siya ang nauna na, na siya ang iunang incentive na tayo rin isang araw aakyat sa langit. He seated at the right hand of the Father to restore His original purpose. Ang sabi niya, sit at my right hand until I put all your enemies under your feet. Anong tinatrabaho ng Diyos ngayon? Lahat ng kaaway mo, lahat ng kaaway natin, gusto ni Lord ilagay sa ilalim ng iyong paa. Hindi mo kaaway na sa loob ng church, hindi mo kaaway yung pastor mo. Kung ikokorek ka ng magulang mo, hindi mo kaaway magulang mo. Ang pag-ingatan mo pag hindi ka na kinorek. Pag nanahimik niya, hindi ka na kinokorek. He already leave you to yourself. One of the worst judgment ng Panginoon sa Romans. The Lord lead them to themselves. At pag iniwan ka ng Panginoon sa iyong sarili, kung titignan natin yung Romans 1.27, ang nung nakalagay doon, the Lord left them to themselves. Ano sinabi? And man instead having sa verse 26, sabi niya, that is why God abandoned them. Mayroon mo yun? Iniwan. Abandoned them to their shameful desire. Pag iniwan ka ng Panginoon sa iyong sarili, ibig sabihin, pag pepiestahan mo na iyong sarili, you will destroy yourself. Pag iniwan ka ni Lord, you are on your way of self-destruction. Ngayon, magpasalamat po tayo sa Panginoon. Meron pang nagkokorek sa ating mga leader. Meron pang mga nanay na nagkokorek. Isipin po niya sa sobrang inis ng nanay mo sa iyo, tatay mo sa iyo, hindi kanya niya pinakikialaman. Di ba? Pag nanahimik na yan, bahala ka sa buhay mo. Ang sinasabi niya, bahala ka sa buhay mo. At nung yung prodigal son, na pinili niyang maging independent. ano sinabi niya? Pagdating sa dulo, kasi sinong binalikan niya? Tatay pa rin niya. Pero dun sa loob, ayaw niyang magpakontrol. Umalis, kinuha pa mana. Ilustay. So that is the nature of men that need to put under your feet. So that you will begin to rule. Rule yourself. Rule over the devil. Rule over the world. Rule over problem and sickness and disease. Rule over sin. Then we will have what? Complete victory. Then, darating tayo doon, sa sumulat doon, maiintindihan natin bakit sumulat yung kamay 
doon sa wall sa panahon ni Daniel, mene mene tekel upar sin. Bakit? Yung tekel doon, tinimbang ka, ngunit kulang. Sana pagdating sa dulo, kung titimbangin tayo ni Lord, tayo po ay nasa tamang timbang. Everybody lift your hands right now. Hallelujah, Lord. Right now, we want to thank you. Father, we want to thank you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, oh, Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord, for the beatitude. Thank you, Lord, for the enlightenment. Thank you, Lord, for the realignment. We thank you, Lord, for truth that set us free from every prison cell of worry, prison cell of problem, prison cell of self. In the name of Jesus, we submit to your word. We submit to your truth. We submit to your parents, oh God. We submit to our parents. We submit to our leaders. We submit, oh God, to your kingdom. So that the kingdom of God will begin to manifest one day. And those who submit to God, those who surrender to God will rule and reign with Him in the kingdom, in the millennial forever and ever. Yes, God. Yes, God. I submit to your word. I submit, oh Father God, to every allowed circumstances. What you allow, what you have allowed to Job, God, hindi niya yung naiintindihan. But the end of the story is that you mold Job, you strengthen Job, and you restore double what lost Job. In the end of the story, oh God, ikaw ay maluwalhati. Hallelujah, God. I look out and I saw my Lord coming. I look out and I saw my Lord coming in the cloud. And you want to present us to you holy, without blameless. Hallelujah, God. Oh, I look out. Let your bride be prepared. Let your bride understand process. Let your bride understand molding. Coming in the cloud. A church that is ready for your coming, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is coming. Oh, you're coming. We prophesy. Hallelujah. Release us from every heaviness. Release us from everything that hinder our growth, our maturity in Christ. Oh, we honor your government in your kingdom. Hallelujah. Oh, are you ready now? Singing. Let me be prepared. Let my family be prepared. Let the members of my family be saved. At the coming, at the last trumpet, at the sound of the trumpet, Lord, we will go up. We will meet you in the air. We will meet you in the cloud. You will crown us with the crown of righteousness. Lord, we will meet you and we will be with you forever and ever. And one day, one day, oh Lord, one day I look up and I see my Lord coming. One day I look up and I see my Lord coming in the cloud. Awaken your people. Hallelujah. 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 He is coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
without the presence. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. your presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right this very moment as the presence of God is in the midst, the Lord is saying to you, Anak, ano ang focus mo? You are singing, I am coming, but what is your focus? Are you still looking back on your old? Are you still looking back on the past? Anak, anong focus mo? Are you focusing on your pain? Are you focusing on yourself? Are you focusing on your hurt? What is your focus? I am coming. You need to be prepared. You need to look to me. What is your focus? He is coming. Is it your earthly dreams? Is it your earthly career? Is it your earthly things? Is it your comfort? What is your focus? Hallelujah, Lord, right now. May we never lose that focus of God of preparing. And we never lose the focus of that mandate. That we are the ambassador of the King to demonstrate the kingdom of God. Right now, I want you to talk to the Lord. And begin to thank God that you receive a word today. You begin to appreciate the Lord that the word was released. Talk to Him. Hallelujah. Stop looking on the earthly issue. It should be the issue of heaven. Let the voice of heaven fuel your spirit. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. We give you praise. Now lift your hands. Lord, right now I pray. Now we begin to receive wisdom father like brother Tony released the word why such thing happen this is not intentionally to hurt us and to offend us but for us to be molded to present us to you without spot without wrinkle glorious church radiant church let your people realign and reawaken Father, I pray for every family. At the last sound of the trumpet, kami, Panginoon, ay sabay-sabay. Nasasalubungin ka sa alapaap. You said, we talk often of this thing, our blessed hope, so that all of our lifestyle will be realigned to your purpose and to your will. I want you to lift up a voice of thanksgiving to the Lord as we close. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for the insight. Thank you, Lord, for understanding. Thank you, Lord, for the beatitude. Thank you, Lord, for the poor spirit. Thank you, Lord, for the spirit of meekness. Thank you, Lord, for the spirit of mourning because of sin. Thank you, Lord, for the, for the peacemaker. Thank you, Lord, for the, for the persecution. For great is our reward. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We want to bless you. We give you honor and glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. Palakpakan po natin ang Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. <laughs> Na-bless po ba kayo sa word ngayon? Hallelujah. Napaka, sinasabing napaka, ano na, napaka rich, sabi nga. Napaka rich ng word. Hallelujah. Ngayon, dadako na po tayo sa pagbibigay at bago po tayo magbigay, basa muna po tayo ng word. Sabi po sa 2 Corinthians 8.7. Since you excel in so many ways. Totoo po ba to? nag excel na po ba tayo sa lahat ng bagay? Lalo na sa spiritual na buhay natin? Di po ba? In your faith, your gifted speakers, your knowledge, di ba? Marami nang marunong ngayon. Your enthusiasm and your, and your love. from us, para sa mga man of God. Yung pag-ibig daw natin sa man of God. I want you to excel also in this gracious act of giving. Hallelujah! Sa so verse 11 po, okay, verse 11 and 12. Now, you should finish what you started. Hallelujah! Ano na po ba yung naumpisa natin sa pagbibigay? Pagpatuloy daw po natin. Let the eagerness you showed in the beginning be much now. Now. Ngayon daw po. Ngayon na. By your giving. Hallelujah! Give in proportion to what you have. Verse 12. Whatever you give is accepted. Oh, Acceptable, sorry naman. If you give it eagerly and give according to what you have, not what you don't have. Oo naman, anong may bibigay natin kung wala tayo? Ang inaas ng Panginoon kung ano yung meron tayo na may ibibigay natin for today. Hallelujah. Tagalog, sa Tagalog po sabi dyan. Kaya ituloy ninyo ito, ang sigasig na Ipinakita ninyo sa pasimula ay panatilihin ninyo hanggang sa matapos. Magbigay kayo ayon sa inyong makakaya. Hallelujah! Sapagkat kung bukal, hallelujah, hindi daw po napipilitan, bukal di po ba? Bukal. Sa kalooban ang pagbibigay, tatanggapin ng Diyos ang inyong nakayanan. Hallelujah! Hindi niya hinihintay na magbigay kayo ng hindi ninyo kaya. Hallelujah. Kaya magbibigay po tayo ng ayon sa ating kaya. Hindi po yung napipilitan lang po tayo. Di po ba? Kasi tatanggapin ni Lord yung bukal sa loob natin. Hindi po yung napipilitan lang tayo. Amin po ba? Okay, let's pray. Lord, we thank you for today, Panginoon. Maraming salamat sa word na tanggap namin, O God. Maging sa aming pagbibigay, Panginoon, tunay na ikaw lamang ang nahayag sa buhay namin, Panginoon. Tunay, O Lord, na napakabuti mo upang iparinig sa amin ang mensahe mo for today. Nawa, Panginoon, ito'y nanuot sa aming mga puso, maging sa aming mga isip, Panginoon, upang patuloy kami makapaglingkod, Panginoon, na ikaw ang nasa puso namin, Panginoon. Lord, we thank you sa lahat ng magbibigay, Panginoon, na wapatuloy na ang pagbibigay na ito, Panginoon, ay mag-excel kami, O God. Then ito yung mara- nararapat, Panginoon, na ibinibigay mo sa bawat isa sa amin. Lord, we thank you. Binabalik namin lahat ng kapurihan. Ito ay para sa iyo lamang, Panginoon. Pinupurit sinasang baka namin sa tanging pangalan po ni Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Yung sa malaki po yung sa offering, then yung sa maliit na basket is... for the church building.
Ayun. So may na-announce po na meron tayong second week po na breakthrough night, no? Pero baka po kasi magkaroon ng biglaang schedule. So mag-a-announce po kami ulit kung matutuloy po yung second week na breakthrough night natin ng Thursday to Saturday. Ayan. So meron pa rin po tayong cluster. Abangan nyo na lang po. So mag-check po tayo ng GC. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, mag-check ng GC. Tapos magtataka kayo, ay meron pa lang ganun kasi kaya hindi niyo hindi kayo inform. So nandoon po yung mga announcement natin kaya po tayo merong group chat. Ayan. So tuloy pa rin po yung mga clusters natin. Prayer meeting po uh, every Saturday 6 o'clock. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, magkita tayo sa Sabado. Atin tayo prayer meeting. Ang ganda po ng ginagawa ng Panginoon. Ayan, then, Saturday, then Sunday po, yung atin pong uh, Sunday service dito pa rin po. And then, this afternoon ay mag-gather po ang next gen. So, after the service, after the closing prayer, ini-invite po yung mga young people. Igagather po kayo ni Ate Joyce. Then, yung mga fuel ay igagather po kayo ni Kuya Marlon. So, wag mo na kayo agad uuwi. Mabilis na mabilis lang ito, mga isa, dalawang minuto lang. Okay? And then, yung mga tickets. Ayan. So, kung meron na pong mga bayad na, pwede na po ninyong iabot kay Natalia or kay David. And then, available pa rin. Kung gusto nyo pa rin kumuha ng mga tickets natin, available pa din po siya. So, yung mga gusto naman pong mag-pledge, open pa rin po yung ano natin, pledge natin para sa ating church building. Let's pray, hopefully, By October, mas start na po yung building natin sa pagbibuild po ng church building natin. So, I think nasa 391,000 na. Praise God! No, wala pa po yung mga tickets dyan. Yan po ay mga pledges, yung sacrificial offering natin every Sunday. Tapos yung mga meron pong nanggagaling sa iba ne network na, nagbib na nagbibigay po, nagtatanim po sa church natin. So, If, if you are being led by the Lord na mag-pledge, na mag-abot, every amount po, ito po ay uh, nagagalak po. No? Igagagalak po ito ng Panginoon. So what else? May nakalimutan pa ba ako? So kung wala na, let us all stand. Sino po sa closing? Let's all stand this. Hallelujah. I know that we are all blessed. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Let's close our eyes. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for this um, service, Panginoon. Na, Lord, hindi kami uuwi sa lugar na ito, na talunan, bagkos, Panginoon. We are an overcomer, Panginoon, O oh Lord God. Na-overcome namin, Panginoon, lahat ng sitwasyon, Panginoon, O oh Lord, sa aming mga buhay. At patuloy pa rin kami, Panginoon, na lalaban na mga Oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Father. Lord, I pray and declare in the lives of my brothers and sisters, oh Lord God, that they will continue, oh Lord God, to be strengthened in the Spirit, Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And they will embrace every words, Lord, na natanggap nila ngayong umagang ito, Panginoon, oh Lord God. Na, Lord God, they will continue to fight the good fight of faith, oh Lord God, that in the name of Jesus, oh Father, that they will submit To you, O oh God, and even unto the authority, Lord God, that you have given unto their lives, Father. Lord, continue to bless them, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, thank you sa kagalingan ng aming Mami A, Panginoon. And also, Lord God, patuloy namin iningi ang kagalingan ng iba pa naming mga kapatiran, Panginoon, sa buhay ni Jimmy, sa buhay ni Nanette, Panginoon. And even, Lord God, kay Carl Dulay, Father God, that Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, by your stripe. We are healed, Lord God. And they are also healed, Panginoon, O oh God. We are, Lord, faithful, O oh God, and we will continue, O oh Father God, to be faithful and trusted to you, Panginoon, O oh Lord God. Father, thank you, O oh Lord God, The Lord, even the church building, Panginoon, kinaklaim na namin ito, O God, that on October, O God, by your will, Father, it will be done, O Lord God, in Jesus' name, Father. Lord, we thank you, we glorify you, God, in Jesus' mighty name, everybody say, Amen. God bless you.
ko. Hello. Yan. Lahat ng youth dun sa color blue na upuan at lahat ng fuel nandito sa malapit sa IT. 